The protesters have been out at Washington Park where a Draw Muhammad contest is being held. The community center is the same mosque where two men from Phoenix attended before driving to Dallas and opening fire at a Prophet Muhammad cartoon contest. About the protest. Usama Shami says the event organizer John Ritzheimer has been to that mosque before. He thinks Ritzheimer decided to return because... And now we want to go back out to the Islamic Community Center where we have been watching from Chopper 3. Everybody headed in that direction. Our Jason Valentine is there. And Jason, what are you seeing on the ground right now? Back to you. Hey, Jason, before you leave us, right now we are taking a look from Chopper 3 where we can see the police going straight down that line of protesters trying to keep things organized. Can you just let our viewers know exactly what Phoenix PD has in place to keep this under control? You've been talking about the cameras on top of the mosque. Can you explain it a little bit more? Sure. Phoenix police are doing uh, several things. Thank you so much, Jason Valentine, reporting live for us tonight. And we want to give people some perspective tonight. You know, symbols of hate, the Ku Klux Klan burning the American flag, they're all protected under the First Amendment. A Supreme Court decision. Right now, you're taking a live look at a line of people on motorcycles going from Washington Park over to the mosque where they plan to hold their protest. Again, they had a Draw Mohammed contest at the park. Now they are on the move. And of course, we've been following uh, this for you all night long. One reason why this is considered to be so inflammatory, and as we pull out here, you can see how long that line of vehicles and motorcycles is and again one reason this is so inflammatory is because many people of the Islamic faith believe that drawing pictures of the Prophet Muhammad is blasphemous. Yeah, and Karen, what we saw. All right, Royal, you might not know this, but it is Brandon's birthday. Brandon, you know what we got you, Royal and I? <laughs> I did not know that. Hundreds. We got you hundreds. Yeah, you got hundreds. hundreds. You got so bill, sweet but of in both temperatures. of you. <laughs> yeah, 103 in the valley. All right, thank you, Royal. You know, it is four days of fun. For everyone at Comic Con. <laughs> you know, it's cartoons and movies, and it's just really fun to see. What are you going to dress as? <laughs> or what have you fantasized about? Hey, Karen Brown can't go as herself. Maybe she can, actually. All right. A standoff between anti Muslim protesters and those believing in peace and love slowly coming to an end. Still, high security in that Phoenix area tonight. All right, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. Tonight, we spoke to the man who organized the event. John Ritzheimer says he's been getting threats since this all went public. I'm going into hiding for a while. You know, even the White House was keeping a close eye on the situation here and also weighed in on the protest. Expression. A top state investigator tells us tonight it's not a matter of if, but when it will happen to you. So where are you most vulnerable? Our Adam Longo joins us live in Phoenix tonight with more. Adam? Huge gift tonight. You see, he needed some home repairs, but a local group stepped up and gave him a whole lot more. Here's Erica Flores. You know, some Valley High School and college students are spending 15 days in Mexico, but not for vacation. They're hoping to make a difference. A group of brothers, sisters, and cousins forward to that, Royal. Thank you. You know, summer jobs are a rite of passage for teenagers, but with so much competition, it can be tough to land the right job. Tonight, Dennis Welch explains how teens can stand out from the crowd.